Malka from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking and today is going to be a make it easy Monday meaning I'm going to do a crock pot recipe and uh, this is one of Mike's favorites this is ham and bean soup now he likes his ham and bean soup nice and simple that's what this one is nice and simple few ingredients um, not hard to put together at all crock pot does all the work some of the uh, ham and bean soups I know of uh, that other people do and there's some really good ones um, have mashed potatoes in it, um, have uh, tomatoes in it, tomato sauce. Um, different people, different regions make it different ways. But this is the way that Mike likes it. Pretty simple. So, I'll show you what goes into it. I have some uh, dried Great Northern beans and I'm going to soak them overnight. I'll show you how I do that. I have a couple ham hocks. Um, I have some leftover ham that I'm going to just chunk and put in with it, some onion, some very finely diced carrots, and potatoes, um, and some ham base if I need it. If I don't get enough flavor out of the ha ham hocks, which I doubt is going to be the case because they're good smoked ham hocks, um, I'll add some ham base, and this is the better than bullion ham base, but more than likely I probably won't need it. So the first thing I'm going to do is soak my beans overnight. Now you want to put them, I just put them in the crock pot and I'll drain them off tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you, you want to make sure that your beans are well covered. I have about an inch of water on top of them because as they uh, soak they'll absorb up that water as they rehydrate. So I'm going to let those go overnight so that my uh, soup can go on in the morning and just kind of sit there and slow cook with those ham hocks all day. So it's the next morning. They've sat overnight to soak. And you can see they're all plumped up, used up most of the water. I'm going to rinse these off so you get all that extra starch in the water out. And then I'm going to return the beans uh, to the uh, crock pot. And then we're going to throw in our ham hocks. Now all I've done is uh, put my beans back and <clears throat> added my chopped onion because I want that to get in that broth and uh, slow cook and my ham hocks and made sure the ham hocks are covered and then I'm gonna put my crock pot on high to get it warmed up and then turn it back to slow low and uh, let that cook throughout the day and let this all get tender and all that marry in and the meat will be tender and come off the uh, ham hock bones we will not add our vegetables until much further along because we don't want our carrots and potatoes to get mushy. She's all, look at that, meat's just coming right off the bone. So I'm going to uh, remove my ham hocks and then I'm going to um, cut up the meat and then I'm going to add the last of our ingredients in and I'm adding just a couple more because you just, you got to have that flavor. Added in my deboned meat. I took off the uh, skin and got the bones out. I'm going to add uh, a large diced potato. And I had some leftover ham. So that's going in. And some thyme. And some parsley. And a little bit of diced carrots and you can add celery um, some people add oregano um, some people add some liquid smoke I am going to add a little bit of ham base to give it a little bit more uh, depth and this is the better than bullion ham base and I'm just going to stir that in get that incorporated and uh, one more ingredient just a dash of this. To me that does the job of what the smoke would do. And like I said, some, the PA Dutch way, they do add uh, mashed potatoes in the PA Dutch version. Mike likes it better without. Um, I like it with the mashed potatoes in though. But everybody does it a little bit differently. And this is just how I'm doing mine. Now I'm going to stir this all in, cover it back up, and let it go for a couple more hours. 
Well, I think she's all ready. The vegetables are tender. And look at all that. Good ham goodness. You know what comes next? All dished up and ready to go. So here it is. I just gave a close up for it. <clears throat> now uh, the moment of truth. Oh man, look at the nice chunks of ham and potato and beans. Oh boy, that's good. Mm. Mm. Man, that's going to be even better tomorrow. That's just overnight. That stuff is going to be outrageous. It's really good. And with the smoked uh, ham hocks, no salt. You don't add any salt. You don't need to. It's plenty. And I've seen some recipes even call for um, MSG and stuff. It's like I can't even believe, believe that. It's awful. But this, this is really good. You know, this isn't my favorite soup, but this is really good. And it wouldn't be complete without some good crusty bread. Because I like it with the broth. Mmm. Mmm. Talk about something good in the cold weather to uh, stick to your ribs. This is it. So, you saw how easy that was. Not that many ingredients. Crock-Pot did all the work. You just set it and forget it. And uh, you got a really wonderful, warm, hearty bowl of soup. So, now you know what to make during that next uh, cold snap and snowstorm because uh, winter's not over yet. Enjoy. If you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, and join me next time here in Helgas, Pennsylvania Cooking.